Once again, I'm going to keep this review brief. That's why it's called the quick review, because I always give off too much information with movies that I'm kind of excited and giddy about. This is one I'm definitely excited and giddy about, so we'll keep it nice and short. My entire high school sinking into the sea. This movie is wonderfully bizarre. Uh, from a writing standpoint, I don't think it's that incredible. It's probably not a great note to start on when talking about this movie that I'm giddy about, but it's just nothing crazy. It has some lines and some insight on high school life that's kind of interesting. But as a whole, the writing isn't anything that I can like be like, whoa, that's that's incredible. Like, that, that, what a great idea. It's a high school falling into the sea. Not a lot of it makes a whole lot of sense, but you're there for different reasons. If you're there for the reason of, I want a co perfect, coherent story about this high school falling into the sea. I want everyone to die right as that thing goes in there. You're probably not going to like this movie, it being completely honest. In fact, for all three people that think like that, I'm very sorry. But if you like animation and you like that quirky, unique vibe to things, this is a perfect movie because I've never seen anything quite like it before. I really can't compare it to anything. My best comparison I've come up with so far in making this video is Midnight Gospel, just because it has that same kind of trippy visual Pendleton Ward vibe at times, but at the same time, it's so different. It's so different from anything I've seen before in animation, to the point where, after watching it and disliking the writing, the animation was so good that I still felt like talking about it and recommending it to people. Because not a lot of people have seen this movie, it's currently on Netflix, I found it just scrolling through. The animation was so off-putting and unique that I just had to get into it. I had to start watching it. And I did, and an hour later I am talking about it in this video. Its use of color, its slow, methodical pacing of movements and mouth movements, it can all be a little bit unsettling at first. At least for me, it was. But as the movie progresses, as the inciting incident happens, where the high school falls into the sea, I found myself really able to get behind that. Because I'm a little bit afraid of drowning, and the visuals they use for drowning are really creepy and scary. At least for me, it put me off a good deal. So that being said, maybe this is more of a personal thing for me where I just really enjoyed that aspect of it. I'm not 100% sure. Whenever I'm recommending a movie like this, which I don't think I've ever done before, mind you, I don't think I've ever recommended a movie before that I completely disliked in one category and really enjoyed in the other, to the point where I'm now recommending it to you. From a writing standpoint, this isn't anything that crazy good. From an animation standpoint, it's so unique, I think that people who like animation should check it out. And if you haven't seen it yet and you like animation, definitely give my entire high school Sinking Into the Sea a try. Now, while writing and animation are definitely the two big standouts of my entire high school Sinking Into the Sea, there are some other aspects that are pretty strong positives. The voice acting is all really fantastic, the direction of it's really good, and on top of all that, the music is pretty dang awesome. Like, I was not expecting that at all. The music in this movie was another pretty big standout. It wasn't just there when it needed to be, it also helped some of the scenes along. It helped set the mood in a few cases. Not all cases, but in a few instances I think that the music definitely helped the movie find its tone a little bit easier. But the movie didn't have much problems with that, so the fact that the music was still able to add something was really impressive. With all that being said, if I had to give this movie a score out of 10, I'd probably wind up giving it a 7 out of 10, despite its kind of disappointing writing and story. There is still a lot you can get behind in this movie. It is a fantastic thing just to sit back and watch. I could take off my headphones and just enjoy it, and that's how you know you've made something that's really incredibly animated and incredibly unique, especially in this case. So I highly recommend this movie. Of course, you saw the disclaimer at the beginning of the video. That wasn't just a bit. If you have epilepsy or are prone to seizures, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but probably don't watch this movie. Uh, there was one certain sequence that kind of messed with my head a little bit, and I don't, I'm not affected by either of those things. So bear that in mind before going into it. Also, if you're scared of drowning, because I'm a little bit scared of drowning, maybe, uh, maybe give this one a skip. Other than that, though, I can highly recommend this movie. I think that not enough people have checked it out, and it's definitely worth a watch. If there are any other movies or TV shows you want me to check out, post them down in the comments below. Also, if you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought of it down below. I read every single comment on this channel, so do not be shy, and I will see you all next time. 
Goodbye.